My name is Zary in the air! Woo! Welcome back to the channel. Stoker here. Today we're going to do a little deep stall tutorial. Deep stalls are really fun. It's a great way to practice everything negative and everything stalled. Your deep stall is your real reset. The full stall is unnecessary to fix 95% of everything. A deep stall is where you can do it safer and easier and more comfortable. So it's a great thing to practice. I highly recommend it. The requisites to start doing deep stalls is realistically you probably need like 30 or so full stalls to like go through an SIV over water with a life jacket and an instructor so that you can just get real comfortable with that. Once you're real comfortable with stalls then you can start doing deep stalls. The warning there is essentially that if you're trying to not fully stall the glider, you can accidentally let it shoot real hard and end up kissing it, which is not good. So, I'm getting a little altitude here, and I'm going to show you what a couple of deep stalls look like, what I think about, what I'm trying to do, what I'm looking for in the glider as I do it here on my Gradient Aspen 6. I'm in an Aqua 3 harness. This glider goes to 105. I probably am only 95 miles right now, so I'm light, which makes these really mushy and kind of easy and fun. So, just push out here, and I'll show you some deep stalls. Here we go. Full speed bar. Yeah. Coming into the box here, almost there, and uh, let's talk about deep stall a little bit here. So deep stall is also known as parachutal flight, parachutage. Uh, it is essentially where the glider is not flying forward, it is falling vertically. It's just getting pulled down by your weight. It's no longer an airfoil, it is acting as a parachute. A uh, paraglider in parachutal flight is very yaw unstable, it wants to twist into a helicopter essentially because it doesn't really want to do that. It wants to fly or stall. And it's a delicate little balance to keep it from flying and to keep it from stalling. So, it's a kind of delicate weight shift and brakes thing and it takes some time to get used to. It's also what we're looking for in the glider is we want all of the cells to be totally open. We want the glider to be fully inflated, wingtip to wingtip. We don't want it crumpled. We don't want the tail pushing in like a tail slide. And uh, we want to go in straight down and we want to have total heading control in that configuration. It's a big ask, but once you practice, it's not too hard. Before I start, I guess I can acknowledge that uh, picking a box, having your reserve repacked, knowing what you're doing, have professional instruction, and not trying to learn acrobatics off of YouTube is probably a good piece of advice here before we start. I'm going to push out a little bit further. Okay, so to get ready, I'm going to sink my butt way back in my harness, make sure I'm totally, totally, totally in the very back of my harness so I can sit super upright, keep my feet underneath my harness to keep my swing weight low. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the brakes symmetrically and strong until the glider stalls. I'll then go hands up. As the glider re-centers over my head, I'm going to check it with the brakes and keep it overhead. At that point, the deep stall will start and I'll basically be controlling it with the brakes and the weight shift to keep it one head in, totally open, and keep it from flying. That's the whole point, okay? So let's start. Whoa, nice and smooth, huh? Nice and smooth. So, to exit the deep stall, you just put your hands up. And if you're in a nice collected deep stall, then your hands going up is just going to let the glider fly really easy. The glider doesn't have a lot of power in deep stall. And going hands up from deep stall, the glider just restarts really simply. It doesn't even shoot because it has no power. It's already right over your head. It's not way behind you like in a full stall where if you go hands up, it'll shoot really hard. It's just right over your head, so it's really not uh, difficult to let it go. So let's try again. One of the 
best parts of deep stall is that if you kind of start losing it, you just go hands up and the glider flies again. It's not that crazy of a maneuver. Let's try again here. simple transition from deep stall to tail slide. Okay, so on this last one, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to go from deep stall to tail slide. Okay, so I'll enter into a deep stall, and then I'll pull more brake until the glider tail slides, and then I'll let it back out. and do stuff that you don't know over the dirt. Get a life jacket and an instructor, do some shit over water. It'll really help your progression to not freak yourself out by throwing your reserve and crashing into the dirt unnecessarily. So, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Woo! Peace.